Good morning, Denture community. It's me, sweet lady V, in the house. <laughs> hey, everybody. I just want to do a quick update. I want to check in on everybody. I know I've been laxy daisy. Y'all already know what I got going on. Got two jobs, okay? So, um, just to give you an update on how I'm feeling and what I'm going through, uh, me and Pearlie's been getting along pretty good. But I'm ready to use my gift that I won from uh, Cha Cha, my denture fit. I am ready for denture fit, okay? I'm not sponsored by denture fit, but I won the gift and I'm ready to use it. I just need to take the time to do it. And I want to do it right. I don't want to be nervous about it and think I'm going to mess it up or anything like that. Because there are plenty tutorials out there to help you. And from what I've been hearing from the community, they are awesome with their customer service. So if I run into any issues or problems, I will definitely give them a call. I said, well, Valora, why you want to do, do denture fit if, you're, if your dentures are fitting well? I miss the cushion. I miss the the barrier between my gums and this acrylic so you got to remember the first eight months you know after what a few weeks i got my soft free line so now after getting my hard reline to make my permanent dentures i don't have any liner at all since january when i had it done so now I am ready for a soft free line. Um, I still have a decent fit. You know, I, I'm, my dentures are not plopping. So I'm grateful for the the shrinkage is not, you know, intensified or picked up. I still use my powder on top. I'm using um, the little dollar store uh, adhesive on the bottom. I can't think of the name of it. But, um, and it holds. I did buy some Secure. And I like Secure. I just, I don't think, I don't know how to describe it yet. Because I've only used it once. So, I might need to up it, you know, up my game up with it a little bit. <laughs> Excuse me. And okay, so I used it on the bottom. The first time I used it, I put a a bit much in there, and it it was tight. You can feel the tightness of it, which was great because everybody rant and raves about Secure. I'm not sponsored by them either, and um, talking about how it you know to get it out and everything. So the bottoms, had, they did pretty good on the, because I had them on for a few hours, not that I had it in all day to test it. I did test it, an all-day thing for work, and I only used a little bit. I didn't get the secureness of it with the amount that I use. When I used more, I got a better and a longer hold. But... And it's not a but. It's not. It wasn't bad for me. There is a uh, film over your gums when you take that secure out. But hot water and because it's supposed to be, you know, liquid resistant. But um, I use warm water soft toothbrush, and it it came right up. It wasn't just peeling and peeling and peeling and peeling. It came right out. But what I didn't like is the film it left on the inside of my denture. I didn't like that because I had to scrub to get that out. So, but I'm not going to give Secure a thumbs down. I do like the support of it, especially if I'm talking a lot or now, you know, my second job is having me to talk a lot and I need them to be secure. I'm at work. I'm talking a lot. So I'll pick and choose when I think, when I feel I need to use it. But it is a little messy cleanup for me. It is. Um, there is, like I said, I was feeling something at the bottom of my gums and I was like, what is that? And when I took the dent, the, you know, when I took it out the first time, I left a little bit of, uh, <laughs> of cushion grip in it. So I peeled that out. 
But then, you know, when I tried, you know, the um, secure, I looked in there, I was like, okay. So, I just scrubbed it out. It came out. That was it. But I've never had an adhesive that adhered to the denture like that after soaking it overnight. Okay? So, the tablet didn't even get rid of the residue from Secure. But it, it is good. Now, it's not something I, that I have to have. It's not like one of my go-tos. I still like the little dollar store stadium, whatever it's called. And um, I want to go back to my Listerine. You know, I loved, I always loved that one. Again, what I do is once I put my top in, I put the glue on the bottom, that, that sits. So whether I'm doing makeup or my hair, I let it sit for a few minutes, put it in. And, you know, whatever I'm using is holding me until I get off work. But, you know, it is what it is. I don't feel secure enough out in public with, out adhesive on the bottom on the top yes but not on the bottom because <laughs> you can hear it kind of like if i'm at home and i'm eating you can hear it pop a little bit while i'm eating so you can hear the and this that's not sexy so we not <laughs> we gonna glue them down while we at work it's no problem for me but once i do this denture fit i might not need to even worry about it because I really want more in my bottom and a thin layer on top. Just because I don't want too much on top because it might be too much, you know, too much of a suction for me. Because I still have a good fit on top. So I just really want a thin layer for comfort. <laughs> Not so much for the denture to fit. But the bottoms, yeah, I want to put an excess in there. And whatever I have left over, I want to do, you know, the top. So... I'm going to come back with an update on that, let you guys know how I felt about it. I'm hoping that I love it. I know I will. I mean, I know I will. You don't hear bad reviews. I haven't heard a bad review on Denture Fit, unless it's something they did wrong. <laughs> you know, the person that was applying it or something. And um, I don't want to be nervous about applying it. And, and, and it looks fairly easy. I mean, if I can do cushion grip and I'm not sponsored by any of these names I'm calling out, then I surely can do that. So I want to do it a justice because it was something I won and I want to in the future invest my money in it. So I want to, you know, make sure I do it right. And, um, and I'm hopeful for that. But I just wanted to give you guys an update that I have not forgot about my denture family. You've been very supportive, and I really, really appreciate you guys. Um, I will be doing an up-and-coming live with Miss Vicky when she announces it, and we're going to talk dentures. That's what we're going to do. I hope and pray that everybody is taking care of their smile. I hope and pray if you don't have a new do a new smile yet that you're working towards it. At least get that germ out of your body. Um, be good to yourself. Keep smiling, and uh, we're gonna do this together. You know, make sure you're accessorizing with your new new smile that you're feeling good that it is radiant and it is expressive and everything that you're enjoying it you just went through a lot this is a lot to go through and endure and to meet people and, and everything i mean you're more confident but when you're meeting people now and they want to know and it's how you tell them do you tell them not tell them you know whatever you know that's your decision the best part is adding years to your life by getting the disease germ teeth out of your mouth i'm gonna call it a, a day i hope everybody has a thankful thursday it's me sweet lady v i'm out till next time guys be good to yourself